This is a Howard Price Turf Blazer. Let's pick this up for a hundred bucks. Oh, that smells all right. So it uh, runs, but the the bowl basically don't work the float, and it just overflows. You gotta shut this off immediately, or it just flood out when you turn it off. You gotta put the fuel cut up on. So I'm gonna take the car apart clean and see if I can fix that. If not, needs a new float, float valve, all that. So. But, 100 bucks, runs, moves, cuts, mechanical, mechanical clutch, so, just flip that and it turns on, cuts grass, so, you could use it how it is, but, I'm gonna fix it. So, better look, it's in the back of my truck last time, got a hole there. <laughs> Pretty big hole there. Got another little one in the front over there. It has these weird blades. Got a little angle. They cut pretty good though. And little weirdness there at the end of the muffler. Other than that, I had no problems with it. I used it five, six yards or so. Slips a little bit with the belts. They're probably just. Not in the greatest shape, but tires hold air. Could probably use some new belts in the future. Blades are good. There's not really no rust underneath for sitting in a barn, so it wasn't tall grass or nothing. That's good. But I think it's made from like 91 to 93 or something like that. And that's it. So this is 17 years old, 20 years old or something. You can see the difference in quality of the metal like stuff's thick I have a uh, one of them Toro homeowner zero turns and things like six years old and it's just straight hole so four 12 meter bolts two there two there a nice patina patina gasket yeah it's another rusted pretty crappy looking carb here this one actually runs the way it is so it has a choke problem